So Bon Kulongwenya, also known as Paige, is one guy known to rip the stage. Despite his age, he has achieved a lot. I mean, from getting an Aus Coco nice poem from the chest, having all the females fall in love with him on the spot. <laughs> He's shared the stage with Sal Williams, Don Matera, Andrea Gibson, Maya Angelou, and Anis Moshkani in the future. <laughs> and records have been found from William Shakespeare begging him to be his tutor. I mean, even Leo Machila took a break from Twitter because he is all she tweets about when she can. Look, but don't go online and double check that. I mean, I've already confirmed. You know. <laughs> like, still, you have no idea how much skill this kid possesses. Teaching lessons to reach and diverse messes with poetry that has flowed through time and centers the elements of life to your shrine in words, like a liquid crystal line around your spine. I mean, even Umam Tun, I'm sure, but thinks page is the best thing to ever happen to local poetry. <laughs> I mean, she hasn't said it out loud yet, but, but that's what she thinks. <laughs> See, Paige is given to suicidal folks by shrinks. is a phenomenon that philosophers discuss over drinks. He is the throat clearing a politician does before he speaks. He is the color red to rosy cheeks. But before we all go too groupy, let me just summarize. Paige has got way too much awesomeness for this column size. It was Adam and Eve who bit the forbidden apple and then macked it on the back of our computers and cell phones to spread the virus of mortality. It was Adam and Eve who bit the forbidden apple and then macked it on the back of our computers and cell phones to spread the virus of mortality. And so now I stand on the edge of sanity with my right foot already dangling in midair whilst the other one is still pretty much comfortable with gravity and then I inhale, praying that the wind carries with it a redeeming wisdom from a distant celestial kingdom. See, we've been caught off guard. And so now the manufacturer watches out of stainless steel to remind us of how times are hard. See, life has become as cold as death always has been. We're forced to view light through Zodiac screens for this. This is as real as an insomnia extreme. All right, thanks. <laughs> Sorry, it's a lot of energy. It's a lot of energy right now. All right, um, before, before I go any further, yeah, still a lot more to go. Um, before I go any further, um, I just would like to, to send the spotlight somewhere else. Um, my family is here. Um, yeah, so, so um, I like, you know, they're all pretty cool, but I'd like to shout out to my father. My father was in the crowd. Um, my, when, I, when I was the prelude poet last year, uh, my father came through and it was his birthday when he came through. And yeah, so, so, so this year, uh, his birthday is tomorrow and still he chooses to come through every single time he can. So can we, for my pops, please, everybody. If, you all, if everybody's wondering, he's the guy who's refusing to stand up. That's, that's, that's just, just look for that one. If I was to place your heart on my palm, would you dance around my arm? Would you agree to use your scented lips to kiss my fingertips until my nails turn rainbow? Would you write your stories on my lifelines if I say so? For that I could read. Since I've learned the literature of your smile, even when you bleed, yes, I've sang songs about you. A joyous melody inspired by a kiss and an epiphany scouted the tales of our adventures when you're here with me. I swear I've done it all. Now I don't usually swear. I now wake up to put a huge smile on my face I didn't usually wear. Wash even the last stain on my sock when I didn't usually care. All this because of a love that once wasn't there. And I swear that even on the last day of existence, I spent it embracing our unity if you insisted. For you are beautiful. As beautiful as the sun emerging on the crest of Paramount, a diamond too bright to remain underground, you are an angel. An angel that I would die to have as my wife. So all I'm trying to do is resize your halo to fit into your finger. But then how do I make you believe? Believe this is more than just a string of pickup lines joined together to make one cheesy poem. What brick in this apartment serves as evidence to you that this house is actually home? How do I let you know? 
So which is why I ask that if I was to place my heart on your palm, would you let me dance around your arms? Will your fist relax enough to let me lay in the puddle of my love? And will you love your hand more then? Or would you just cover us with a glove? All right. All right. Um, um, by the way, Pops, that's, 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 that's an imaginary person. There's no... There's not there's nothing. I swear. I don't I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm I'm just gonna hit you with a string of short poems. Cause I like how deep that is. <laughs> how often do we soften the truth in the ears of those who need to most hear it? How frequently do we change the frequency when the radio tunes in to the depth? of our spirits. Now oh, that was deep, right? <laughs> All right. Drink from the fountains I once stripped and spilled my youth on. Taste my mistakes. Savor in my negligent behavior. Suck in the countless acts of mischief I got stuck in so you can quench your dry perceptions of me and my origins. Who's the yee yee guy? That's, that's a close friend of mine. <laughs> Must be. <sighs> How many close friends of mine? Oh, yeah. All right. All right. I don't know how to swim, and I suck at most sports. I'm too lazy for everything, nor do I trust my physique when wearing shorts. I've always felt just a little too small to conquer it all. I have no idea how to tell my father that he is my favorite mother. I don't know if there are others who like me would rather turn their lives inside out for perhaps a surface that is less harder. I'm clueless with life's units. I'm hardly the cutest, far from the smoothest new kid. I'm definitely not an offspring of the cool breed. I don't know much about life and its secrets. I know my life comes in snippets, and every slide is of a moment that I let slide. But I don't know how. And I don't know now if I'm at the peak of consciousness, or if I can speak of what a conscience is, but I've conjured this. With so much that I don't know, I don't know if I know enough. But I do know this. I know that lips tell me more with the kiss than with the content of what they speak. I know that decisions we always dream about but never have the courage to pick. And I've tasted the neon lights and cried with stereos who gave birth to stillborn mics. I've conspired with cans and wheels behind the walls which told us, no, you can't go to school with the little girls that these married men hunt. I know our hearts are actually white but have now been painted red because of all this love that we've bled. I know our story is only happy on the start, but not really when it ends, but I do believe we were gods way before we knew of any, and yes, scientists, I do know that stars are planets, but they are ones which only our eyes will inhabit. And I know the habit of telling yourself you're not worthy. I know the flight in our chest can't be tamed by anything earthly. I know our shine is divine and that time is sublime. I know the grace and the glow in our face both come from the same holy place. I know that what we have now is way bigger than what we're trying to chase. I know in love we collapse more often than we fall. But until we get to know self, we still don't know it all. Q, you were right. Hey, Q. Q, you were right. The step back is really effective. Right. Thank you. <laughs> Can you in the building? That's what's up. Oh, yeah, um, I, I, it's, I feel it's very important to mention that I'm, I'm part of um, um, 
um, a, an, an arts organization which is based in New Kizaden, um, Kinadis Theatre, and you know, it's been going on for a while. And they are amazing human beings, trust me. I work with them all the time. Are you the loud guys, huh? Oh, you're going to have a meeting. So. There is no beginning. Time knows no origins. All is originally from right now. Now, be. I swear to you, we all have been waiting on the inside of your skin, ready to welcome you back. You are the product manual with all the answers intact. Remove the fragile sign. Lord knows we've been broken far beyond our spines, but we are still dancing, like our insides always do, like the chords on the whole way through, playing to the light we choose to step to. There are spark plugs on our cheekbones, our joints, circling to whirlwind as closer to the point vibrate. Your pulse demands it. Star in your favorite flick, you are a winner in transit. You are lucky to be born where towers abound and aren't we all lucky to experience the power of sound? Thanks. Yeah? Oh, oh, I get it now, I get it. Oh, all right. Um, it's awkward because Pops is here. And, um, for homework, Pops, for we're gonna do homework. <laughs> All right. All right. This has been awesome. Like I'm serious. Like I'm serious. This is amazing. This, this this opportunity. You know, I've been I've been attending Poetry Africa since I was 16, and I've attended every single year ever since. So so to be up here is is the greatest thing ever. This is the biggest night of my life, really. So thank you. Um. I'm gonna do one more poem. Um, um, the, the last poem I did was titled For All That Is, and this poem is also titled For All That Is. I have a string of poems, all titled the same title. <laughs> I'm not trying to sound deep, although it does, but I'm not trying to sound deep. The thing is, the title is For All That Is, because it, 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 really, it really is, you know. <laughs> okay, I'm saying. It really means a lot, it really means a lot, as in whatever, whatever I, I, I aim to present, the title for all it is encapsulates it, and, and I, I'm really glad to have come up with that in my life. <laughs> Trademark, copyright, nobody can do anything. All right. So yeah, for all it is. It is rumored that in the static world there are fire powers roaming beneath, circulating the circuit looking for either each other or room to breathe. Now all I have to offer are my terminals. My sparks have been flying ever since she left my wires undone and with all the flowing water then, I started believing flames are the only places where sparks come from, but now I am ready, ready to have our light fuse. This is the destiny we chose to choose. We are two hurricanes crashing into each other, hoping to cataclysm the wreckage back into form, bearing heavy rain sentenced to dampen where our vessels were torn. And I know you're scared because you are still skin wearing the essence of what's happened before. But baby, trust me, I know what bad relationships are like. I've shot myself in the foot too many times to work away. I've had too many of yesterday's forevers go astray to mock today. Lend me you. I promise to not be the bitter end of your residue. Let me through. I am not sure how to love you yet, but I swear I want to. I mean, the powers that be when I kiss you. Like God has entrusted me with this last breath and you are the gorgeous vessel I get to breathe into. You are beautiful. Moon kiss daywalker with my shoulders on her sleeves, dancer of choice to the wind, my favorite excuse to believe. I know the rain has come from where the clouds have shown, but I'll tell you one thing, you don't have to face the sky alone. Uh -huh. <laughs>